to Miami. This is a big event city, and folks here are fired up for this one inside Hard Rock Stadium as the Miami Hurricanes try to represent the great tradition of their program. And a rivalry like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, the tradition and the history, but right here, right now, there's great intensity. This is why these guys came to these schools to play in games like this. As we'll see the number 11 team in the country, the Florida State Seminoles. Taking on the 23rd ranked team, the Miami Hurricanes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. And the Canes will kick this deep to begin the game. He's going to return it from near the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. So Florida State's offense is going to get the chance to start this game off. Here we go. You can feel the juice in this building. What a privilege, Kirk, to be part of this rivalry game. Well, there's nothing like rivalry games. You know, no matter what you've done all year, you get your opportunity to win this game today, and it can change everything. And they'll tackle it about the 23-yard line. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Again, makes it second and medium. Quick pass, here comes a jet sweep. Enough for a first down at the 37. The defense has got to do a much better job here of adjusting to the pre-snap motion. They just kind of stayed in place, and it gave the receiver plenty of room there to make a nice play. First down and 10 now. They call the counter play here. Solid game, moves the ball to a 43. Well, Kirk, no surprise, you get these two teams on the field, and it's tight and competitive right to the finish. Well, Chris, the last time these two teams met, remember, it came down to the wire, the very final few minutes. Sure hope we get another one like that today. Second down after that run on the previous play. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. But what I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. To throw, it's Wiangala light. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. And this offense picks up the first down. They tackle him at the 44. Well, when you play zone defense on third down and you don't get pressure from your defensive line, you're going to give a quarterback a lot of time to be able to find an open receiver and eventually get the first down. Not surprised at all that they're able to convert. And the Seminoles are going to keep this drive rolling. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Looking to set up a screen pass here. Defense makes the tackle, but that screen produces a pretty solid game. And the defense is getting pressure on the quarterback. They got a little bit fooled here by the screenplay. Nice positive gain for the offense. And completion makes it second and short. QB decides to keep it here. There's the tackle, but first down yardage. Boy, this offense does such a great job of putting the threat of the quarterback and the running back on this defense. It puts the defense in a tough spot because it's really hard to take both away. This time, the quarterback gets out and shows you the speed he has as well. The Knowles line up on first and ten now. Looking for some space, it's Toa Fili. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid gain there. You know, a lot of people feel running backs with elite speed shy away from contact, but that wasn't the case there. Instead of running around the defender, this back elected to run right through him. And the Knowles are going to cash in here in the red zone. And the quarterback keeps it here. And the ball to the ground. Offense keeps possession, recovers the fumble. Well, just like running backs, quarterbacks have got to do a better job of having awareness and taking care of the football. 
felt like he got the ball away from his body there a little bit, allowing it to be knocked free. He caught a break because one of his own teammates was able to see that and get on top of the ball. This will be the ninth play on the drive. He'll run it here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, this is what I'd love to see from a defense is the linebackers are scraping, doing their job, but you need help from the secondary. And when you have aggressive tacklers on the back end, you got a great defense. This time, the secondary makes the difference. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. Well, that's one of those plays that works better against certain defensive looks. But not every defense is the same. They were all over that one. Let's see if they continue to attack to the outside on the perimeter to set something up downfield. Can he keep the opening drive alive? In the 11th play, it's third and long. Dropping back, it's Wiangala <laughs> The sack in the play could not escape the pass rush. It just looked like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a bit too long that time, allowed the defense to be able to get the pressure, and they come up with the first sack of the game. So now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit. Kick is good. Gives the offense three points to show for that drive. So we have our first points on the board. That makes it 3 nothing. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. Not surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. Come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. Return starts from inside the five. It'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. So the Hurricanes offense comes out for their first possession today. If there's one guy on this defensive side, Kirk, who can be a game wrecker, it's this elite pass rusher very much on the quarterback's mind today. Yeah, Chris, but it's going to be very tough. This quarterback does a nice job of moving around in the pocket, and also he's going to have an awareness of exactly where this guy is and have a clock in his mind about how quickly that ball needs to get out. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Off the play fake. Looking to throw on first down. And they heave it deep downfield. That deep shot is caught for a big game. Well, a nice throw and a great catch here by this Miami Hurricane wide receiver. For our younger audience out there who might be watching this game, I got to tell you, you may not remember this, but Miami set the tone for wide receiver play for decades, and they're working their way to get back to that now. So one play moves the ball to the 42-yard line. It'll be first down. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. Grab behind the line, it's Restrepo. And he heads out of bounds, moving backwards on that play. Didn't want to take the hit. Anytime you have a chance to get this wide receiver isolated, to get the ball in his hands, you do it. Offense getting set, it's second down. He hands it off from the gun. He's wrapped up nicely there by the freshman. Well, Kirk, you've played in plenty of rivalry games. How do they feel different from the others? Well, Chris, rivalry games, and, and depending on who the coach is, this is a game that you think about all year. You know, you're working out in the weight room. You're doing drills in summer two-a-days. Everything is focused on getting to this game and playing your very best. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. And he finds a wide-open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. 
That big game moves the ball across midfield all the way to about the 36. That's a great play by this offense to keep the drive alive and a good find by the quarterback on third down. The Canes offense is on the move now. Little eye candy here from the offense and pre-snap motion. Takes the handoff. It's Martinez. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. There's some pre-snap movement back in motion. A pop pass on the jet sweep. And the defense able to hold him there to a short game. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. And he'll drop back here on third down. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. And they pick up the first half of the 23, getting closer to the red zone. As we break for the quarter, Kirk, Florida State is on top. And at the end of the first quarter, let's check out the stats so far. They've flipped ends of the field. We're ready now for the second period. The Hurricanes lining up here on first and ten. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Makes a nice move there. Well, I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This backs vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. The Canes are in the red zone. Keeping it on the ground here. And they'll stop him short of the line to gain. You see, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Third down and three. Try to make it three consecutive third down conversions. Movement here from the tight end. And third and short to try to pick it up on the ground. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, they don't block the defensive end. It shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. And it sails right through the middle of the uprights. Solid kick. And we're all tied up now. Well, oh, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Seminoles offense comes back on the field. They settled for a field goal last time out. They're looking for the end zone here, no doubt. Going to run it. It's Williams. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, there's that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. They tried to use the stiff arm there, but the defense corrals him quickly. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. 
Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. There's a wide open receiver complete. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Boy, a really nice throw here to the slot receiver. And I love the quickness that he has after the catch. He's essentially a running back playing at that slot position. That's how dangerous he is after he makes a catch. Here's the handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well do you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Already got the first down, but looking for more yardage. Tackle is finally made, but not before a big gain. They'll spot it at the 24. Man, I really love the way more and more offenses are using the receiver in motion pre-snap. Give him a chance to get the football with a couple blockers in front of him. He's got all that speed built up. You get the ball in his hands, and you better look out. He could be off to the races. The Seminoles are on the move here. It's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Good pass. Here comes a jet sweep. It's a one-yard game. Second and nine coming up. Man, that jet sweep action puts so much pressure on a defense. You get so locked in on the ball attacking you downhill. But when offenses sprinkle this kind of offense in, it stretches this defense out wide and can create some vertical seams for big plays. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. The junior able to bring him down quickly. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of the defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. Dropping back, it's Uyangala Lake. Fires it to the wide out. And it's complete downfield. Tackle made quickly at the 11, but the offense in the red zone now. I feel like this quarterback could make this throw in his sleep. It's like clockwork, a curl route against zone. And the quarterback, the only thing is he had to fit it into a tight window for that first down completion. And the Seminoles have first and 10 here. And now the handoff. And he's finally tackled out the two-yard line. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. No run it. Handed off to the running back. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Boy, it is tough to run the football inside this five-yard line. Give all the credit to that defensive line. Eating up those linemen, allowing the rest of the defense to fly to the football for that short loss. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. Third down, out of the shotgun. Makes the catch. Can he get in? The defense stops him just short of the end zone. Spotted at the one. Well, a quick short throw here. Not able to convert for the first down. You want to see that route maybe a little bit deeper to give yourself a better chance. But they come up a little bit short. So now it's decision-making time for the coach. I'd be shocked if they didn't go for it. They need less than a yard for a first down. They'll go for it on fourth. He's got it right near the end zone. And he takes it into the end zone, but hold on. There's a flag down. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. And the coach elects to send out the field goal unit. And the field goal is good. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick.
So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Fields it just outside the goal line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Miami offense is back on the field. Well, it's been an entertaining first half. Not much time remaining to cut into this lead. Finds a man downfield. That's a big game to the right. You get him down, but that's a nice play. Moves the ball to the 33. You know, you roll the dice here as a defense when you play man-to-man. -man. The thing is, you've got to get pressure on the quarterback. If you don't, he's got time, and now he can look at that defense and figure out where is his best one-on-one -on -one matchup, and he makes a big play there. First down, looking to throw the football. The pocket, and now the ball comes out. A disastrous play from the start. Defense recovers the fumble. Big takeaway. I think that's on the quarterback and the offensive line. They were breathing down this quarterback's neck before he could even recognize that they were there, and they were able to knock it loose. And here comes the Florida State offense on the field. Kept out of the end zone last time. Had to settle for a short field goal. Can they improve upon that here? Throws it to the right. Makes a spectacular diving catch. Tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. Chris, when that quarterback threw that football, I didn't think that play had much of a chance. How about the effort by this wide receiver to lay out and come up with that completion for positive yards? The Knowles looking to finish the drive here. It's first and goal. Looking downfield, it's Riangela Light. He's got it near the end zone. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a game there. Just a good job of spreading the wealth, making sure everybody's getting their touches. When you do that, the defense can't lock in on one guy or two guys. Make them have to be aware of everybody and allows you to continue to spread the ball around and spread the field, making it tougher for this defense. Second down, we're going to throw it. Pass caught. Can he get in? And he steps out of bounds. Just short of the end zone. Couldn't quite get there. Love to see the positive yards here. Down inside the 10-yard line, you're looking for anything to get closer to the goal line. Now it's going to set up third and goal. Got to find a way to get this ball into the end zone. And a great field position for the defense force a field goal attempt here. It's a quarterback keeper. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. And a timeout is called. Important stage late here in the second quarter. Well, great stop here by this defense to bring us to fourth down and decision time for the head coach. You go the easy route with a field goal, or this close to the goal line, you take a chance and try to get that touchdown. And he knocks that one right through. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. So they settle for three, and now the kickoff. We'll see if the opposing offense has enough time to answer before halftime. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And the coverage team gets the returner to the ground. And the Hurricanes offense retakes the field. Backed up this close to their end zone in the final minute. Let's see if they just decide to take care of the football and look toward the second half. And he's got his man open downfield. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. Well, that's exactly what you love to see here in this two-minute offense. You come up with a big play, and all of a sudden your mindset gets much more aggressive. You're not thinking just about three points. Maybe take some shots, get the ball into the end zone. The offense spends their final timeout of the half here to talk strategy. About time this offense gets going, it's a first and ten. Looking downfield, it's Ward. It's a highlight reel diving catch there. He just dove for the ball. Somehow he comes up with it. What an incredible play. The Hurricanes starting a new series here on first and ten. And the quarterback drops back looking for an open man. 
The pass rush closing in. And he just throws it away there. Safe move. Had nobody open. Chris, on this play, he has nobody open. It's better than taking a sack. He doesn't get intentional grounding because where he threw it, there was an intended receiver. I think there's no harm, no foul here. So on second down, they'll try it out the field goal unit, trying to get three before halftime. This try is no good. And the deficit remains at six after that miss. Man, I thought he hit that pretty clean. Good hold by the holder. Everything looked to be the way you'd like as a kicker. He just misses it, and the ball trailed on him and ends up hitting the upright. So they'll just take a knee here, and that will send us to halftime. Somewhat conservative call, but content to take this lead into the locker room. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Guys, between the coaches who have matched wits in this game and the players and the unforgettable moments, Miami, Florida State is must-see TV, and today is no different. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen and panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the battle between Miami and Florida State plays out. Returner looking to make a play here. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And here comes the Miami offense back out onto the field. First play of the second half, they keep it on the ground. Try to run it up the middle, but get nothing. That was an excellent effort by this defense, just staying in their run fits, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Back to pass. It's Ward. It's incomplete. That was caused by the defensive pressure. And now it brings up third down. Well, it's pretty simple. The defensive line does a great job of getting after the quarterback and forcing him into that incompletion. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Catch made down the left side. An explosive play. And the game just good enough for a first down. That'll put him over 150 yards today, Kirk. He is putting on a show on this big stage. How great is this? On this stage, as you mentioned, Chris, just playing his best game. He's been in sync with his receivers. Back there, has time to throw. Just having a dream performance. Play action here on first down. Easy throw to a wide-open receiver downfield. And an explosive game moves the ball across midfield. They'll spot it at the 42. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands. And the Canes pick up enough yardage to get a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake. Looking to throw the football. Looking for the wide out. Oh, can you believe it? He drops the ball. Don't see that often from this excellent receiver. He's going to bring up second down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass you've got to have to come up with and make a catch. Incompletion makes it second down. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. It's a quick grab. Defense surrounds it. Just a short gain on that completion. The slant may look like an easy play to defend, but it can be really tough, especially against man coverage, without any help to the inside. If you're the offense and you continue to see that man coverage, they might as well just keep attacking just like that. The back's got it. And they'll stop him just short of the marker. Good effort, but the defense holds. Now it's fourth down.
So here on fourth down, out comes the field goal team. He missed it. And the deficit remains at six after that miss. Now that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. Now you can see he's hanging his head. A poor kicker. And the Florida State offense heads back onto the field. This has been an uphill battle for both offenses. Let's see if they can get it going this time. Cut quickly. Quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. And completion makes it second and short. It's a shotgun run call. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Things just appear to be a bit out of sync from the get-go on that one. Give credit to the front seven of that defense for staying in the proper lanes and getting to the ball carrier, not let him dance around and make something out of nothing. An important third down attempt for this offense. To the air, into the angle of it. Let's it fly out of the wide out. Finds the man to the left. Big catch downfield. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain. More than enough to pick up a first down. Well, this is why this guy's one of the top wide receivers in college football. It's third down. The defense knows you're probably going to go to him. And they still can't stop him from coming down with a big play. And the Knowles getting set on first and ten. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Wow. Lays out and makes a spectacular catch. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. My gosh, this receiver is outstanding. A huge play for this Florida State offense. And tell you, you and I have been coming into Tallahassee a long time. We've seen some great receivers. Guys like Johnny Wilson most recently, a big, tall target. Anquan Bolton could do everything. Maybe one of my favorite players of all time. Caught near the goal line. And he's in. Touchdown, Knowles. Now, they'll go for a two-point conversion. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. And he's not going to get there. Stop short. Missed opportunity to build this lead. Now they get set to kick it away. He'll return it from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Miami offense is back on the field. The last drive was a little demoralizing. They stalled and then missed a field goal. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, they keep trying to run the football. And they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage. That has been a theme throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. They've become one-dimensional. I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. Back to throw. It's Ward. Makes a quick grab. He's brought down quickly as short gain gets them a few yards closer to the marker. Defenses all around the country have got to do a better job of keeping an eye on these little guys from the slot. They can dismantle a defense with their speed and quickness in the open space. Third down. This offense could really use a conversion here down multiple scores. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Oh, and he can't quite hold on. A great chance for their first interception here today. But it's going to bring up fourth down. And I think the quarterback here forces the ball because it's third down. But he's got to be careful having the ball on his own side of the field. That ball was almost picked off. 
the Canes will bring their punt team onto the field. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Oh, and he's got some space here. And the returner will be brought down. And the Seminoles offense comes back on the field. They reached the end zone the last time out, trying to do the same thing here. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. Receiver in motion now. Trying to find some room. It's Williams. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. How about the timing here by the defense to shoot that gap? As an offensive lineman, you have to anticipate that. Close that gap off. Otherwise, it could be a long day. They're backed up here trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. Big play in enemy territory all the way to the 41-yard line. Boy, this offensive line, you got to tip your cap. They've done everything you would ask of them in taking care of this quarterback. They do it again here on third down, working with that lead. You know the pressure's coming, and they deliver. The offense really clicking here. A handoff from the shotgun. Jukes to get free. They bring him down, but not before he gets inside the 30-yard line. Nothing better than an offense on first down to be able to pick up big, positive yards like that. You can either keep giving it to the back, or it can set up play action and get the defense to come up to the line of scrimmage, and you can throw it over top of them. The Seminoles pick up first down yards to keep the drive going. Graham behind the line. It's Douglas. Great cut. They whiff on him. They finally tackle him at the four. It's a solid gain on the pitch and catch. Well, they love going to this guy in the slot, don't they? What a mismatch inside. He reels in another one. This guy's automatic. And the Seminoles hoping to punch it in here. They have first and goal. Here's the handoff on first and goal. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Florida State. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. And here's the return from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Hurricanes offense retakes the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? The sure hands. It's Joseph. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Well, defending this guy, you need more than one defender. You really got to stress rallying to the football because this guy can make people miss. Ball moves to the 37 on the game. It's first down. And the wideout goes in motion. Off the play fake on first down. Let's it go quickly. 
Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Just a great throw and an even better catch here by Miami to be able to come up with a big play for this offense. Chris, oh my gosh. Just an embarrassment of riches when it comes to Miami in the wide receiver position. And you could say not recently. They've had some pretty good players, but you go back, Michael Irvin, Andre Johnson, Reggie Wayne, Santana Moss. I just could keep going and going when it comes to the Canes. As we break for the quarter, Kirk, Florida State is on top. And they got to be feeling pretty good about things as we wrap up the third quarter. Let's review how we got here. And now, entering the final period of play, is there an epic comeback in store? We're going to find out. Back to throw. It's Ward. Receiver makes the grab. Oh, what a juke. Gets three now. They bring him down, but not before he gets inside the 30-yard line. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. The Hurricanes begin a new series here, first and ten. Going for his running back. That's Carr. It's Martinez. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. Defense kind of lost the running back here. Makes a nice catch and gets the first down in the process. The Canes looking to cash in this red zone trip. An inside give now from the shotgun. And they finally stop it, but a decent gain that time. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. Gonna run it. It's Martinez. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure a defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take the lead in this game at some point. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Makes the catch. Can he get in? He makes it to the end zone. Touchdown, Miami. And now the try here for the extra point. And there's the point after. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And here comes the Florida State offense on the field. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. He moves the ball out past the 25-yard line. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to rely on that offensive line in the running game here to be able to secure a victory. Good call, and just keep working that clock. A game makes it second and medium. Caught behind the line. It's Lee. And the defense smothers him for no gain. I 
love the call here with the wide receiver screen. Where's he going to go? The blockers do not do their job and open up any running lanes at all. So a very makeable third down for this offense from the 26-yard line. It's a draw play. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Well, a lot of times it's a play call where you go to the draw play because you feel the defensive front is just consumed with trying to put pressure on the quarterback. They go with the draw, but the defense is completely locked in. There's a nice job of showing discipline to completely negate the play. No kick it away here. Running it back, it's Restrepo. And the coverage team able to bring him down. And here comes the Miami offense back out onto the field. They were clicking last time. Great protection. The pitch and catch was solid. Right down for a touchdown. How about this defense today against this run game? Here we are in the fourth quarter. This guy's not gotten over 10 yards rushing. What a great effort collectively by this defense. Second down after that run on the previous play. The throw. It's Ward. Snags a quick throw. And they bring him down quickly, but that's a solid gain on the short throw. Well, playing with the lead, good job by this defense to keep the receiver in bounds. Try to keep that clock moving, trying to secure a victory. Important third down play coming up after that completion. First down, pick up, tackled at the 45. Well, that shows you the trust they have in their offensive line in this running game. They get to a third down, just trying to come up with a way to be able to keep this drive alive, keep hope alive that you can come back in this game. You rely on old reliable with that offensive line, and they come through for you. The Hurricanes looking to crank up the tempo a bit. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. That's reeled in. It's Martinez. And he's out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. Pass caught. Second down now. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag brings up a third down. You know, this is the one thing I love about this running back is his ability to get involved in the pass game. Runs a great route, just doesn't come down with a catch. Off the incompletion, it sets up a third down and two. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. And he dumps it off to the tight end. They make the first down, brought down to the 31. I love to see this team fighting the way they are. Picking up a first down on that third down shows you they still believe. They still think they got a shot to come back and compete in this game. And the Canes are moving quickly down the field. On first and 10, they'll look to throw it. It's a short completion at the big tight end. And he shoved out of bounds with the defense short of the first down marker. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Pass complete. It's second down now. Looking to throw it again. Fires it to the wideout. He's got it for a big game. He's brought down at the six. The offense will have first and goal right there. And that completion, Kirk, puts him over 300 yards passing today. Yeah, anytime a quarterback has a day like this, really, it all has to come together with the offensive line play, the receivers running these great routes, and he's just in sync. He's kind of in that zone right now, and he'll be the first one to tell you how much his teammates have helped him out today. Dropping back, it's Ward. Launching one to the end zone. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Chris, that ball's tipped up into the air, and it's anybody's football. 
The defense, first of all, does a great job of anticipating a throw down in the red zone, and they're in great position to knock that ball up, but it was exciting to see would anybody come up with it once it was in the air. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. Caught in the backfield. It's Martinez. Brought down at the five after the catch. The offense really threatening now. That's the two-minute warning here. This offense desperate to cut into this lead and then try to get the football back. The Canes will come to the line to run the hurry up. They'll look to throw it on third and goal. He's running out of time here. Able to get the pass away, but took a hit that time. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. you got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. A field goal here doesn't help. They're going to go for the six on fourth down. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. Oh, and they cannot connect. Really needed that completion. Instead, it's a turnover on downs. Handoff to the back. They'll keep the clock moving. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. The game makes it second and medium. Handoff to the back. That run moves the ball to the 13-yard line. Now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Can he make it to the marker? And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. The Knowles will line up on first and ten. It's victory formation. The quarterback will kneel down. 